Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's uh, new year starting off on a good note. Um, we've been uh, pretty busy the last month or so, so we haven't got any too many videos out, but uh, trying to get off on a, a good foot for the first of the year. And um, I know a lot of people have been asking about the new rotator. Um, it should be done here in maybe another month or so, hopefully by the end of February. Um, as many of you guys saw uh, from some other posts of ours, uh, we did get a new rollback before the end of the year. Um, so we've been working all December getting it upfitted and toolboxes organized and um, finally have it pretty well on the road. Um, but yeah, so lots of new things coming for this year. And uh, But yeah, last night we were called out to lift a load of hogs out of a ditch um customer called and they just loaded out they got um i guess the driver pulled out of the driveway dropped something on the floorboard of the truck and when he reached down to get it the whole truck and trailer went down through the ditch so um we didn't really do an intro on the way over since it was um dark out and kind of raining so weren't quite sure if we were going to be able to get the footage or not but uh yeah let's take a look and see what kind of fun that was got traction in this or no? <sighs> well, let me take a look at the back. Man, there ain't crap to hook to on these. the other side pads on.
two of the, the two gray Bailey slings. These two. <sighs> yeah, good luck with that. How are we supposed to get that through there? Any ideas? Thank you. Hold the light. these through first.
something. Have a look. Okay. Take care. It's impressive, ain't it? Mm -hmm. 
an entire load of hogs on them slings and not a mark. So yeah, as you guys just watched, um, we were able to get the load of hogs rigged up off the tail and um, we used our Bailey's grommet slings, put them through the rear axle and uh, was able to pick the whole back end of the trailer up and get it swung back into the road and set down with no damage, no, uh, no uh, harm to the, to the hogs on board. But uh, yeah, I think they said there was 150 uh, 150 head of hogs each weighing 300 pounds or more but uh, yeah uh, the Bailey slings definitely continue to impress us um, as you guys notice there's not a mark there's not been a mark on any of them yet and we've been using them for over six months now um, and that was on the the upper level of you know heavy lifts for for that but uh, so any of folks that are in the towing and recovery business I I really encourage you to go check them out, um, baileystowinginc.com. They've got pretty much anything you can imagine for uh, the towing and recovery industry. But uh, yeah, we, uh, we received another call here uh, from a customer who had a grain auger. last couple days it's been pretty windy, and um, he has a grain auger that was blown over. And uh, so we had to take the rotator out and go pick it up. So um, we'll take you guys along with that. And uh, but that will be another video. So stand by and be sure to tune in for the next video and see how we did. Thanks again.